Hello everyone, this is Rajendra and in this particular video, we are going to talk about two things. First is what all advantage that we get with the DevOps and the second thing is about if someone wants to become a DevOps engineer, what are the skills he has to learn, right? Then let's start with the advantage part. So the first major advantage that we get with the DevOps is that faster delivery to the market, faster delivery to the market. Now why we get this faster delivery to the market is because we are going to use a lot of tools and those tools are overall automating the process that is required for any software development lifecycle. And that is the reason we'll get the delivery of the software very fast. The second thing that, or the second advantage that we get is reduction, reduction in errors. Now, obviously, when someone doing it manually and someone automating it, obviously, when we have a system working, there would be a very less chance of errors. But if someone human is working, obviously we might get some error. So that's the reason we get a lot of reduction in errors. The third thing is, obvious thing is cost efficiency. Cost efficiency. Now why we call it as a cost efficient? Because if the systems or the tools are involved, what happens is the time taken to complete any delivery will be reduced and so the cost. And again, if there is a no errors occurred due to the tools that we have used, obviously the chances of having errors would be less. And if there is an error and if we are doing it by using a humans, obviously it will take or it will add the extra cost as well as the efforts. So that's why it, uh, by using a DevOps, we are doing a cost efficient development. The third thing is, is about rapid automation, rapid automation. So as we are using a lot of tools, we are able to do automate the things, a lot of things very fast, right? And due to that, overall the uh, team, association between team, we can say association between teams is good. Right, because now once something is uh, decided, we are automating it and due to that overall like no, the blame game that was happening earlier, that will not happen here. And overall the tools that we use here, that tools will uh, provide a good feedback mechanism. Okay, good feedback mechanism will be implemented if we have a uh, we, we, that means we'll get a proper feedback if, if we are using the multiple tools. So these are the few major advantages that we get. Now the next thing that we are going to discuss is about the DevOps roadmap. What all tools are required? So now uh, we have categorized those tools in a different different uh, sections like uh, for example, uh, if you want to become a DevOps engineer, what all programming languages that you should be aware about? what all uh, different uh, OS knowledge you should have, okay? What all uh, web server you should be aware about, the caching server, database server, what you should be aware about. Then in the infrastructure side, what all uh, configuration management tool you should be aware, what all container tools, orchestrated tools you should be aware about, what all monitoring tool you should be aware about, what all CI CD tools you should be aware about, and then what all cloud you should be aware about. So these are the few major categories we have. So now we are going to discuss about what all the very important tools or technologies that every DevOps should, engineer should be aware about as a primary thing. And then we'll talk about few secondary things as well. So uh, to start with the programming language, the first programming language I would suggest everyone should be aware about is a Python. Because Python is very rich in library and it has a very good support for all the tools that are used in the DevOps area, right? Then now if you talk about infrastructure as a code, infrastructure as a code, in, in the first category of a configuration management tool, 
Ansible is something that every DevOps engineer should be aware of. Similarly, for a containers, Docker is something is very important. In an orchestrator, Kubernetes is open source and that is used in most of the companies. So Kubernetes is something that every DevOps engineer should be aware about. Now, if you talk about the monitoring and logging part, so nowadays everyone is moving to the uh, everyone is moving to the microservices field. So that is where the Prometheus and Grafana. Okay, this is very good for monitoring purpose, and ELK is for logging purpose. Now, if you come back to the operating system, so every DevOps engineer should be aware about Linux. Then, if you talk about the web server, then Apache and Nginx, these are the default requirement. Apache and Nginx. Then, in the caching servers, you should be good at Redis and Memcache. Right? Then, in the database, if you talk about the SQL database, then Oracle or MySQL is the first choice. If you talk about NoSQL, in the NoSQL, MongoDB uh, or Cassandra. These are the two database required. Now coming to the CI CD, till now there is no replacement for a Jenkins, but yes, there are some tools are coming like uh, Travis CI or Team City, but still the Jenkins is the first choice tool. And then I would also suggest to have a good und some understanding on the GitLab, okay? Because GitLab also provides uh, some pipeline related stuff. Now in the cloud, I would suggest a primary focus would be on the AWS. But if you understand one cloud, understand some services of that cloud, it would be very easy to switch to any other cloud, right? But AWS is something that every DevOps engineer should be aware and few services or the few popular services if you are aware about it then understanding other cloud and their services would be very easy right so to become a devops engineer this is a very basic requirement okay in a programming language along with the python i would suggest shell scripting it's something it's good to have because that is also nowadays it's used and it would be very useful so to become a devops engineer all these tool is must. These are the primary tool and if you are good at it, you can get into any DevOps team, right? So I hope everyone liked this video and everyone got an understanding what is the roadmap to become a DevOps engineer. So thanks everyone. Please like, subscribe and add comments if you have any doubt to this channel. Thanks everyone.